Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. Wanted to come out with what I thought when I first started doing this was going to be a quick video because I've had some requests on would you do a review on the concealers that I actually have in my makeup whatever you want to call it. I mean, I can't really call it a makeup bag because I have a lot of stuff. And until I started putting this together on concealers, I didn't realize how many concealers I actually had. So there's a few things right up front. Always make sure that you're moisturizing under your eyes before you apply your concealer. Give it a good base, okay? And get your skin as smooth as possible so you get the best possible finish. And I always set my concealer with some type of a light powder, whether it's Better Minerals or uh, I like Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's very lightweight. It just conceals. I mean, it just helps set the concealer and makes it just look a little better. So it doesn't crease and you know smudge around or anything like that so there's a bunch of them there's quite a few that are from the drugstore a couple of higher end but the mass majority of the ones I use is from the drugstore and by all means I am not recommending that you go out and just start spending money on this kind of stuff because I might have liked it or something like that we are all different we you know I live in a different area than you do I might I probably use different you know, uh, moisturizers and cleansers, uh, you know, we're a different age. So there's different factors that go into this. And everything that I am reviewing is based on my impression and how they've worked for me. So the dogs right now are calm, but that doesn't mean they'll be calm in a few minutes. So let's get started. The first one that I've got is the Physician Formula, and it's a dual in. It is yellow on one end, which helps correct discoloration, and then it has the concealer on the other end. Now, this is a full coverage concealer, and you need to work really quickly with this because it dries very quickly. Do one eye, then go to the next eye and complete it, but don't put it here and then here, and then think that you're gonna be able to blend it out. It dries so quickly, so you need to do one eye, tap, or pat to blend it out. It does blend out very nicely. It is a full-on coverage. It did not conceal, it did not crease on me. Yes, I want to say did not conceal. It did not crease on me. So this is a very good one, but this is one that you have to work quickly on. Um, I made notes on everything, so if I keep looking down, that's what it's about. This is a good one though. Okay, the next one is the NYX Above and Beyond concealer. It's full coverage. This is very thick. If you're going to buy this, I do recommend you take some, put the product between two, like your two ring fingers, warm it up, and then pat, pat, pat on. It is thick, full coverage. Um, it did not, it did crease a little bit on me. I will tell you that. It's a pretty good concealer. So if you are needing something to really camouflage, this might be an option for you. The next one is the Tarte Maracuja Concealer. This is full on coverage. It is thick, thick, thick. It will cover, I think, about everything based on what I've used it. The thing that it did crease on me and it leaves kind of, it feels sticky. But if you're looking for something to really camouflage, cover, conceal, you might give this a, sh you know, a shot. I would go maybe to one of the counters that carries Tarte and see if you can get a sample of it before you invest money in it. But it will conceal. The next one is the MAC Select Moisture Cover. This is easy to blend. It is kind of a medium to a full coverage. It did not crease on me. It was just a very nice concealer. If you haven't tried MAC, this is a decent one. I really do like it, so I would give it a thumbs up. The next one, IT Cosmetics. I have two different ones. Bye Bye Under Eye and what is this? Bye Bye Redness. You can use you know, both of these for under the eye. This is really a good concealer, the Bye Bye Under Eye. It takes so little because it's so concentrated. You just take it with a little bit of brush, put it on, and then dab it, tap it in, and that's all it takes. And it does neutralize discoloration. If you have some redness under your eyes, this could be one that you could use and then maybe apply this on top or use a different concealer on top. But this does neutralize the redness 
and it's like if you have irritation or allergies like I do, sometimes I'll use this first and then I'll use one of the other concealers on top just to make sure I have a neutral palette. So I do like these two and they both work quite well. Okay, CoverGirl Olay. This one, this is Simply Ageless. Ageless. It blends very easily. It has a slight settling in the lines. It's full coverage. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's a decent concealer. Okay, Olay. This is the CoverGirl Olay Stick. This is thick. It conceals. Um, you have to I almost feel like this is another one that you probably should put between your fingers and warm it up and then tap it in because otherwise I was tugging a little bit under my eyes trying to blend this and that's the one thing I don't want to do is tug under my eyes. It did conceal. Uh, it did slightly crease but once you put the powder on it, it did stay put. The next one is the Benefit Erase Paste. This one is kind of sticky to me. Uh, it did settle in my lines. Uh, you need to really work it together in your fingers and then tap it in and then set it with powder. I'm not crazy about this one. I know a lot of people really like it, but this wasn't my favorite from Benefit. So I say this is an okay concealer. Okay, next page. I know there's many. I'm trying to get through them as quickly as possible. Okay. This is the NYX HD Concealer with the wand. I kind of like this one better than the one in the pot. This does blend much easier. It did pretty much stay put. There was a slight crease, there was slight like filling in the lines or something like that. It kind of like puddled a little bit in the lines. That I'm not crazy about, but once I tapped it in and then applied powder to it, it stayed smooth. So these are not expensive. NYX has really good products. So this is this is a um, fair to good concealer. Now the other next one from the Benefit. This is Boing. This is was very easy to blend. It stayed put. No settling in lines and I liked it so much better than the Erase Paste. I like this one a lot better. This is boing. The next one, this is my second row of ones, Time Bomb by The Bomb. This is a pretty easy to blend concealer. It gives you full coverage. I did not have settling in the lines. It is very thick. I purchased this when The Bomb was doing their half off. It takes very little. So if you, this is something you're thinking about, you know, su subscribe to the Balms and newsletters and information and they'll let you know the next time they're having a half off. That would be a great time to invest in this. Uh, but it is a good concealer. It does give you full coverage and it was pretty easy to blend. So I do like this concealer. This Physician's Formula. This is the Super BB Concealer. I like this one. I did like it. It's very creamy, very easy to blend. Um, medium coverage, I would say, and it did not settle in my line. So to me, that's a thumbs up. This is a good concealer. Revlon. This is age defined with the DNA. It's creamy, easy to blend. It did settle in my lines a little bit. Um, and it did seem to leave kind of under my eye area a little moisturized. So if you can work with it and then use a little bit of powder to set it in, this is a pretty good concealer from your drugstore. Soap and Glory Trick and Treatment. I didn't like this one at all. I gotta be honest. Um, it's light coverage. It was easy to blend. Has some light reflecting properties, but it didn't give like a nice even color consistency under my eyes. I was very disappointed in this one. I'm glad I bought it when it was on clearance because it was like five dollars or something. I wouldn't have wanted to pay full price work. But um, this just wasn't, this is probably one of my least favorite that I have. Okay, another one. This is Revlon Color Stay. 
I got it. Oh, let's do it this way. Creamy, easy to blend, no settling on lines, and medium coverage. Another good concealer from your drugstore. So this might be something, if you can get it on sale or get a deal or something like that, this might be a good one to invest in. Stila. This is the Brighten and Correct Concealer. It would be a toss-up between the Soap and Glory and this one, which one I dislike the most. I didn't like this. I bought it through Stila when they were doing a big clearance. I think it was $5 again. So I just did not like this. It was kind of cakey under my eyes. It didn't really brighten. It just seemed like it clinged in areas without being smooth or blendable. So this, it's a toss up which one of these I didn't like the most, but they're pretty much even how I didn't like them. Okay, next ones. Let's go to getting down to the last ones. Maybelline Age Rewind. I like this concealer. You can find it everywhere. It's just an overall good concealer. You know, you have to really pat it in here. Snicker, he's making his appearance. Yes, my little boy. Um, it's a nice, <laughs> sorry, it's a nice concealer. It, it really blends easily. It camouflage. It did not settle in my lines. Set it with some powder, and I think it'll be real good for you. Snicker, get out of, oh, okay. We just have a few. We got so close to the end until he came along, but I know you guys like him. I do too. But if you haven't tried this, this is a good one. I will tell you one of the biggest challenges with this, okay, Snicker, is the little twist top. Twist top. All of them are getting in on the. It stops clicking. This has been a, I would say, a manufacturing problem with the. Cons with the. Um, I'm trying to keep going, guys. Just keep twisting, twisting. The product will come up. That's all I'm trying to say. I do like this concealer. Okay. The next one you've heard me talk about before is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a great everyday concealer. It's creamy. It goes under your eyes. It's easy to blend. It did not settle in my fine lines. You know, it's a nice medium coverage without looking cakey or... Um, like you belong on a stage or something like that. It's just a good everyday concealer for me. I set it with powder and I'm good to go for the day. Okay, e.l.f. concealer. If you just need a very sheer, almost no coverage concealer, this is the one. But usually we use concealers to cover something. This didn't cover anything. So it's a dollar, but it just didn't do anything for me. This is the physician's formula. Okay, Snicker, I got I got my notes here. This is one of their new ones. This is the Nude Wear. Okay, Snickers. Okay, okay, okay. And it's a touch of glow. This is a very sheer, light concealer. It is nice. It's very blendable. It's creamy. It does you know, settle in my lines, but it doesn't give you much coverage. It's cute packaging, but it doesn't get much coverage. Okay, Snicker. Down to the final three. Garnier, this is the, wait a minute. He just burped again. The Garnier, okay, okay. This is Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle. It's a roller ball. You know, I like this for days that I'm not trying to be really made up or anything like that. It does go under, it does conceal somewhat. It's a medium coverage. You know, you just pat it in lightly and, and set it with powder and you're good to go. This is, you know, a pretty good option for those days that, you know, you just want to wear maybe a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer and this works just great with those. L'Oreal, this is the Visible Lift Concealer. It's creamy. Snicker, I can't read with your head here. It's creamy. It's medium coverage. It did have some settling in the lines. So, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It wasn't my favorite. Now, the last one, I don't have the actual tube of it. It was by Shiseido, and it's a natural finish concealer. Thick out. This stuff is very thick. Um... It does blend easily. I got hair now everywhere. It does blend. You can see it's very 
thick. Yeah. Um, it does blend easily, but it did settle in lines. So I don't think for 20 some dollars, this is one that I would invest money in. I just got a sample of it. And I think that's the way to go. If you're going to like Nordstrom or Macy, ask for some samples of these things before you invest money. So that's the concealers that I actually have in my collection. Quite a few. If there is anything else that you want me to review what's in my collection, whether it's foundation, oh gosh, um, eyeshadows, um, blushes, whatever it is, lipsticks. I got a lot of lipsticks, I will tell you that. Um, let me know. Leave your message in the down bar and I will start working on it. But this is the concealers. Oop, they're all falling out that I actually have. So some are great, some are okay. So until the next video, I wish you all a great day. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, take care and bye-bye. Snicker, you want to say bye-bye? He's back. Say bye. <laughs> bye.